last time we found long scales, which uh, activated the narrator, which told us how to get to the black long, which um, made me think that maybe the other, some of the other Yagwai kings, like this one, that were missing. Might also be a similar thing, and uh, so I started exploring chapter one again, and uh, we started getting the narrator around here. And uh, so yeah. Probably would have been a lot harder if I found it sooner. Another long pearl. Thunder Tail Ocean Sensor Purpose Lingers in Mystery. Curios. Uh, considerable damage reduction when gourd use is depleted. That could be useful. There we go. Red long. Smoke raises high from what a fire hit the back so the beats were spires and missed thunder comes fire. After the case of the old Long King of Jing River was settled, the Long Princes found themselves facing an uncertain future. 
Following the journey west, rewards were given based on merit, but only the long princes alone awaited judgment, heightening their anxiety. They sought out Yon... Yon... Shoucheng and asked him for a sign of their fortunes. The signs showed the long lies hid, not a time for action, which became a thorn in their hearts. Among them, the most concerned were the four longs who governed the four rivers and knew well the might of those above. They took the initiative to resign, hoping to save their lives by retreating, yet the letters they submitted to the celestial court were all returned. Uh, time flew by, and one day, Yuan Shoucheng shot sought out the four longs. He relayed the signs that had shifted to the long lies hid in the, the deep, indicating a favorable time for action. Upon hearing this, the four longs left their underwater abode and went their separate ways to plan their next moves. Red Long was quite astute. Knowing that Black Bear Gwai was greedy for treasures and had the protection of Guan Yin, he bartered all his valuable possessions with Black Bear Gwai in exchange for an ideal cave nestled in the mountains. Afterward, he went into seclusion in the cave and slept for many years. One day, he awoke and wanted to soar up the sky and stretch his body again, but he found that he could hardly climb the clouds. He remembered an ancient saying, when a long wishes to ascend to the sky, it must first climb the claw wood. He wielded his thunderbolt tail to carve out a set of claw wood in the mountains to help him fly, but it was still to no avail. Red Long was willing to accept defeat and sought help from Black Bear Gwai. Although Black Bear Gwai was not good at flying, he couldn't resist the chance for profit that presented itself. He sold the Boshan sensor he had bought from Guanyin's palace to Red Long, claiming the sensor could create clouds and smoke. He cited a passage from ancient texts to persuade the Red Long, or to persuade Red Long, the Long cannot traverse without clouds. Red Long believed this to be true. He embedded the sensor on his back and burned his will to forcibly create smoke from it. When one sensor was not enough, he added another. Each time the sensors emitted smoke, they greatly consumed his will, yet the help they provided was very limited. Although Red Long could use it to fly again, the flight could never compare to that of the old days. He could only reside wearily among the claw woods. Alas, to think that he would har that the world harbors such vexing realities, a skill once mastered can fade with neglect. Such is the nature of all knowledge. If not applied, it withers away to nothing in the end. How lamentable. Oh boy. Kong Jin star, star Captain Wise Voice Hmm. So we have two more chiefs that we haven't found in chapter two. But I don't know. <sighs> I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.